Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how you can install Houdini Engine plugin, how you can get it for free uh, and we will need it to use uh, with this generator because uh, this generator is HDA file Houdini digital asset. It won't work without Houdini. Uh, first of all we will need to go to the sidefix.com site and find uh, Houdini engine uh, there. Here are the Houdini engine plugins. I will leave the link to the site in the description to this video. Here you can get the Houdini engine for free. You will need to register uh, on the sidefix.com to get the to get the license. Uh, you should receive the email with instructions. Follow the instructions and download the uh, Houdini installer. And he here is important step. After you install the Houdini, go to the Houdini license administrator uh, and find it in the installation folder of the Houdini and run it and go to the file install licenses and enter here email and password from the sidefix.com site. After this, uh, you should have two licenses and uh, the Houdini engine plugin sh uh, should work fine in, inside the Unreal Engine at this point. Uh, go to the Edit plugins. Uh, you should see Houdini engine. Enable it. Restart Unreal Engine if it asks. Okay, now go to the uh, project settings and scroll down to the bottom, you will see Houdini engine. Here we need to change two values. Uh, in uh, these fields you will see 100, change it to 200. Okay, now we can um, import our HDA file. Let's create new level, empty level and drag and drop this generator to the scene. You will see uh, it initializing and after a few seconds uh, new fields appears in Houdini parameters. We can delete the ground, we don't need it. Uh, okay, what you can do with this uh, generator? Um, this generator uh, uh, use uh, curves to uh, create corridors and uh, rooms. Uh, so we will create uh, a bunch of curves that will uh, transform to the corridors. Um, now to start building our corridor we need to change uh, the input uh, or from geometry input to curve input. Yeah, uh, you can see it already starts to create basic shapes of the corridor. Uh, first of all, uh, it will be uh, more, um, it will be easier for you uh, to uh, use this plugin if you will uh, move uh, these points from the origin, because only you uh, course that you will create will appear in the origin too. So uh, I uh, select two points with control, with holding control. You can select points, move it where you want. Um, how we can extend this corridor? Um, select one point and holding Alt, uh, move it to the side. And you can see it generates new point and new chunk of the geometry with it. 
Um, this way we can build uh, shape of our corridor. Let's add a second curve. For this uh, we can uh, we have already two curves and two inputs. Uh, we can change the number of inputs by um, pressing the plus button. Uh, let's uh, scroll down to the uh, bottom and you will see uh, we can enable assets here you will see uh, that a generator replaces uh, the dummy geometry with um, instances of the real geometry uh, it uh, do doesn't look like instances for now you can see there there is single object uh, yeah I will show you how you can bake to the uh, individual objects uh, and manipulate uh, individual objects later um, and you can see that we have a problem the door is offset a little bit uh, here's uh, why uh, you need to change uh, the uh, mobility of the enter generator to static and now if you will uh, move some point to update the uh, generator you will see that door is in the right place right now here's the few important things to note um, you can see uh, the folder paths uh, if you uh, import uh, this asset and uh, leave it in default uh, place in the content browser here um, like uh, path game, uh, sky file level builder, uh, you don't have to change anything. But if you move uh, blueprints uh, or uh, meshes to another folders, you should replace these strings uh, to uh, proper values. What else you can do with this generator? If uh, you will place uh, points in a zigzag manner, like here. Um, generator will create something like a, mm, I called it rooms. It uh, sometimes generate uh, strange results uh, like here. Uh, but you can fix it by moving points a little bit. Basically, uh, you should point your attention to the places like corners. Uh, this is the most common place where um, bugs happen. Here we have huge room. Generator can create windows and doors between two rooms. Uh, for this we need uh, another curve. Uh, as you can see, uh, the color of this corridor is red. Uh, in this uh, corridor's color is uh, purple and green. Uh, in this is red. Uh, this means that a generator will generate in this room uh, 
in this corridor pipes, wall pipes. Here, you have, have wall pipes. You can control it like other stuff here. Uh, in this area, wall pipe seed uh, will and wall pipe chains will control where the wall pipes appears. Uh, as you can see, all these walls are now red, and this means that there will be pipes. What else we can control? Uh, top pipe and uh, side pipes uh, are connected to the uh, ceiling. So to see it, we need to uh, toggle the ceiling in the first place. Let's toggle ceiling. And we can see these pipes. Mm. Let's disable assets for now. And let's uh, create another light to see uh, the ceiling color. Because generator will show us if there is a pipe in the color of the ceiling. Here, yeah. as you can see, color changed, and uh, we have um, yellowish color or brownish. Uh, this uh, color represents uh, where valves will will appear. Here, yeah. we have valve seed, valve probability, as for other stuff in this generator. If you will enable assets, you will see pipes. Here. Yeah. Um, top pipe uh, appears m more rarely than side pipes. Uh, to see it, no, I, we will probably need another another corridor. Let's create another corridor. Here we can see the blue bluish color. Uh, the bluish color represents top pipe. Here, let's enable assets and we will see. Top pipe here. This is pretty much all things that generator can do. And the generator can create uh, lighting for you. You should create lighting at the end when you create all basic shapes because uh, it's a very um, resource consuming operation. So let's delete uh, the scene lighting. Scroll down to the bottom of the generator settings and you will see we have a button and enable lights. Press it. Here, generator creates a bunch of lights. Uh, let's uh, bake uh, this uh, whole generator to the individual actors. It can take some time, so we need to wait a little bit. Here, uh, now we should delete the generator, and now we have individual uh, static meshes, uh, instances of the static meshes.
after light building is complete, the level is done, you probably want to add post-processing volume and increase the exposure and play with color correction to get the most beautiful picture. As you can see, the door is opens and closes. So this is pretty much it. Thank you. Bye.